What's up guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is episode number 81. We're going to be playing some more UU Hyper Offense and Shout. I said offense really weird. I don't know why. Probably because I should have gone to bed just now. But, like, I have a science test tomorrow. Got to do five days of work in two days because I'm going to be gone Wednesday to Saturday. I'm like... I'm on the way to the state capitol right now for basketball, so hope you guys are all having a great time wherever you are when you're watching this anyway. Um, yeah, looking at his team, it's pretty cool. He has a couple rockers, which are that and that. Um, nothing really to remove hazards, though, unless he's Defog Honchcrow. But the day I've seen Defog Honchcrow, I've seen it all. He leads Ape, so he could taunt right here pretty easily. Um... Looking at my switching to Infernape, they don't really exist. Um, I'm gonna go into Mian Chow, uh, hoping that he like taunts or whatever. He goes into Floor, just yo, that's sick. Um, Cause what I can do right now is I can just click U-turn. Um, he'll be like, oh yeah, I can just stay in on this. Everything's great, man. And I can go into my fortress. Um, and that. I did not eat up that Moonblast. I thought that Moonblast was going to do no damage, and it did more damage. What is this? Help. Um, so what you guys just witnessed right there was me getting absolutely destroyed and probably losing the game just on that turn alone, because um, I really needed rocks versus... I really needed rocks. Um, I'm just going to click Sacred Fire, though, because, you know... It burns half the time. It's like Scald. You always click it. I'm going to go into Heliolisk right here. Because what Heliolisk can do for me is can eat up the Scald if it's coming my way. If he Toxics, that's unfortunate. Um, but he makes a good double in an Ido Queen. Uh, so this guy knows what he's doing. Um, the face when you have no Nido Queen, Nido Queen switch ends. Um, what do I do versus this? Um... I think I'm just gonna hyper voice for damage. Maybe he gets up rocks. Yeah, he does. Sweet. So red. H how does it feel to get absolutely predicted? Um, uh, honestly, I kind of had to make that play. Just I like I had to get off damage. Um, so he goes into floor just and that took 52%. So these crits are beautiful. I'm gonna click volt switch. Um, just because I can get off some damage. Probably go into Entei. Eat up a moon blast. Don't reveal like HP ground. Like I, I still don't believe he had HP fire floor. Just that's that's a neat lure. Um, as so he just goes for the synthesis, which is fine. Um, Cause what's that at? What you at, girl? Um, sixty six. Last time Sacred Fire did twenty eight. Yeah. So Sacred Fire plus Burn will do forty. Yeah. I can click Sacred Fire and knock out Vapor. No, I forgot lefties. My B. Um, you're right. Um, yeah, that'll leave me just off. But that means he kind of has to click Wish, right? Um, basically, I'm just trying to figure out how, to, how I win this game with a bomb. No, I don't. I may not, which is kind of troubling. Um, but I, Volt Switch? Is that? No, I'm clicking Hyper Voice. I'm clicking Hyper Voice because I, I can't give Nidal Queen a free switch in. I'm gonna click Volt Switch right here though, because fairly certain he's switching out in the forges. It seems like a play he would make right here. Um, or he just stays in, lets himself be weakened. And I just go out in the dub blade, do blade, whichever one you want to call it. Um, this is actually kind of a great opportunity for me. So he goes for the heel belt, which is fine. Um, is he gonna stay in? Is he actually gonna stay in? Probably not. But actually, he does, so I get rid of Vaporeon. So, uh, Entei has very limited switch in opportunities versus his team. Um, has three more rock switch ins left, assuming it doesn't take any damage. And that dies. Or that doesn't die, but it takes a lot of damage. That dies from there. That will die. Um, so, Entei actually looking like it can wall break pretty well. Um, I need Ape gone. I need Chestnut really weakened. And I need floor just gone, so that's helpful. <laughs> um, I think right here I'm just gonna go ahead and click Shadow Sneak in case he is some form of special variant. Um, so he just clicks U-turn. How does it feel to get absolutely red? The second time I've said that this video goes into Nidoqueen. Queen. I don't think Sneak is gonna be able to kill. 
Um, looking like I can f kind of fodder Lisk at this point. And yeah, I'm just gonna fodder Lisk. So he goes for the fire blast. I got roasted. <laughs> Dry skin. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna go into Entei right here, and what I can do is I can just click Sacred Fire, pick up a uh, kill right here, which is really helpful actually. Um, now that Nidoqueen Queen is gone, does Dewblade win? Like he obviously has Chestnut, which is gonna be just really annoying to break down. Um, but he's gonna go into Infernape right here, which he does, which is cool. Um, Scarf Shao also has a fun time. That's something. That actually, it does it really though. Um, probably not. It could be useful for checking Honchkrow. But I also don't want him to just click his fire stab right here. I'm going to go into Shao because I think he, I've, I think he's going to U-turn. He goes for the EQ. Cool. Uh, what that does is allows me to just click high jump kick. I get to get damage off on this, which is beautiful. 45% is not a lot, but it's something, man. Um... I'm probably just gonna click it again because I don't think he has spiky shield. He doesn't. Gets up some seeds. I'm just gonna click high jump kick again. Like if you have spiky shield and you just like kill me off to the recoil here, so be it. But me and Shout instead of picking up a kill, no fear. I end up hitting three of them in a row. You guys don't understand how astronomically rare that is for me. Um, Entei, maybe. Yeah, this is gonna be my last opportunity I think to get Entei in. Um, what it'll do is it'll basically give me a kill right here because um, I can click sacred fire I don't think that will appreciate taking one um, It'll do like 50 some percent. He just leaves it in a die beautiful love this game um, Well, sometimes I love it. Um, I Think I brought that back relatively well. I could still lose pretty clearly But I'm just gonna go ahead and sack me and shower right here if he goes for the u-turn and allows me to He just goes for the EQ good play um, I know your choice though, <laughs> so not really sure how much that one helped you out because your boy can just click SD right here. If he's not choiced, I'm going to be so mad, but he's played like he's choiced all game. So it, this was either A, the greatest bluff you've ever seen, or, okay, cool. So I'm just going to click EQ right here because it will knock him out. And then uh, if he goes into Honchkrow, he just dies to Ice Shard. So look at that, Obama Snow putting in even more work. I, I'm beginning to love this mon, maybe top 10. It may crack the top 10. Um, and there's only like, I think the suspect is like over, like has been over for 13 minutes, but the ladder's still up and the games are competitive. So it's really hard to turn down. Probably gonna record um, this and one more. Um, even though it's like Sunday night, I really should be going to sleep because like tomorrow's actually gonna be a relatively long day. Next two days are gonna be long, but it's okay. Right now, we're not focused on the next two days. We're focused on playing Pokemon. Hey, I faced you in the first live. Ladder's dead. Um, I'm going to lead Entei, um, predicting Frost's last lead. If he leads Swampert, then I just got destroyed. Um, last time, how did I beat him? It was close. I think I cleaned up with Obama. Yeah. Uh, and Obama Snow can clean him again. I mean, it's not that big of an issue. Uh, cause that'll die. Seed bomb, seed bomb, ice shard, ice shard, seed bomb. Um, I get a relatively free setup opportunity versus Jellicent. Um, and hopefully, you know, I can pull off another win. But, we're gonna wait for this guy to choose his lead matchup, and, uh, we'll be right back? Yeah, we'll be right back. So, looks like your boy, Escobar, 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 maybe, I don't know. Uh, it looks like your boy got scared. Um, and so it looks like we're gonna just roll on to a victory So if you guys didn't and we're probably gonna call it an episode because you know, we're about 10 minutes in and uh, I'm not gonna have any other time to record this week than right now So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff And I'm doing here on the channel also make sure to answer today's comment question of the day which is um I don't know. What games have you guys been enjoying outside of Pokemon? I'm not necessarily looking to branch out. I'm just kind of curious. I've been playing a lot of Smash 4 lately. Working on my Pac-Man. Because um, Pac-Man's really cool in that game. He kind of sucks, but he's also really good. I don't know. But with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.